Hello everyone, and welcome to King's Quest. Uh, before I get started, uh, I'd like to apologize. I know it's been a long time, and I have not... I have everything recorded for Legend of Kyrandia 3, but I have not uploaded it yet. But this game came out recently. Honestly, it came out under my nose. I didn't even know it happened until I saw it on Gang Rumps' channel, and I flipped out. I love King's Quest, my mother loves King's Quest, and it's right up my alley, right up my genre. I booted up this game to make sure it would work properly, and the music, looking through all the chapter previews, it nearly brought me to tears. King's Quest is such an important thing for me. It's something I love so much, and I plan on playing all of them uh, here on the channel. I just, I can't decide if I want to start with my favorites first, if I want to go in order. Because I tried playing the first one a little bit, and man, that was, that was a bad idea. That was a, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> but, um, but this came out, and I, I really wanted to play it. I watched a little bit of Game Grumps play it, but frankly, I love them. They're amazing. They're taking too long, and I, I need more King's Quest now, so let's, let's go ahead and jump into it got a little crown auto saving feature. Oh, you see the mirror, of the crown. Um, if we go into, I think it's chapters. This is one thing that kind of got me. Is it? Yeah. Um, actually, let me go back. That way we can see it a little bit easier. It should be through. Yeah, here we go. All right. So you start up here with, if you look at the mirror, chapter one, and I to remember, grandma is very young looking. And then you see he has his crown. He looks older, kind of like King's Quest V, maybe six, and then older and older. I was under the impression that all of King's Quest took place, like, within Graham becoming a knight and before he got the crown. I didn't realize that it went through all parts of his life, all his different ages. So when I first saw this and sort of flipping through, I was like, oh my gosh, I get to play through parts of Graham's entire life. And it just, oh, it, I just, I, I don't really have any words. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's jump into King's Quest. Um, I know what to do for most everything because like I said, I watched Game Grumps. So it's going to be, it'll be blind after a certain point, obviously, but I'll still do things wrong so that people can still see outcomes, because it's King's Quest, how can you not watch the funny deaths? I mean, come on. controlling this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. They did a really good job with everything. A really good job. Most of you that are watching this probably already know this, but this entire game, um, I, I assume it's the entirety of it, I believe every single asset in this game has been hand painted. Um, I believe that also include, includes Graham and his cloak, um, although I think they gave all of the characters a slightly altered art style, whereas everything else has a very obviously painted, very detailed look, and man does it just make this game gorgeous. Okay. Um, Probably need to... It's been a while since I watched the first few episodes. So, oh, okay. Uh, I have to... Okay, here we go. Alright, we're good. We got it. We're good. Okay, there we go. And now we can climb down. I have not been back to him in years. But it was the last place left to look. Oh 
water effects is honestly like the the ripples is probably what makes it great for me just because that's it's obviously painted but there's something about it that gives it its own charm i like it is that another one? i guess i go down do i go down where do i go oh wait wait there we go i'm smart i promise oh come on graham it's a mattress <laughs> It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. See, look, see, look. How can you not appreciate how beautiful all this is? I have to, okay. Uh, I don't know if that was because I pressed spacebar or if the auto jumped, because I kind of did both at the same time. Look. It's so pretty. It, it reminds me of the Okami style. I don't know if that one, I don't think it was hand painted, but it, it gave the vibe of hand painted. And it, it just, it, it does amazing things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on now. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. I'm gonna be completely honest, I actually don't remember which one to pull. I'm pretty sure this is obviously like, hey, this is death, let's don't do this one. And the other one is the one we're supposed to pull, but psh, we're Graham, we're not the most intelligent person in the world. Yep. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Maybe it'd be a cute little tutorial. Although I can't help but wonder, would that actually kill you? Or would you just fall unconscious? I don't actually know. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's a bed, but humans are pretty sturdy. You might, I don't know. Let's not find out though. Let's not hit self with mattress or bed. Here we go. Let's see. And over. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. This is cool. I'm okay with this. This is, this is all right. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Yes, it was. This is a very good time. I don't have any to the camera to control, do I? Oh, I didn't think so. No, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Yep. I like this bed bridge. Who made this? Okay, all right. Now, uh, yeah. That's a little rickety. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes! King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to... add a shinier hat to my collection. Sorry, I figured I'd be quiet during the dialogue. I know I put subtitles on for both you and me. I, I've grown up with subtitles, so I always like having them on. But... Figure, at least for the beginning here, I, I'll be quiet and let everyone just soak it up. Soak up this beautiful game. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, this is the lever that's missing its thing. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Okay, so... But 
Let's go be super sneaky. Figure out what we can use. Hmm. Okay. That really makes me wonder who's been under here all this time. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bed. Oh, okay, now I can look around. How to Tame a Dragon, Breaking the Spirit of Hideous Beasts, Amateur Spells to Impress Your Friends With. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. It looks like uh, whoever's living here is trying to tame this dragon. I don't remember if the Game Grumps looked at that or not, but that's something new for me. Okay, so... This looks like what we need. You know, this looks ominous in front of a belly and tied together. Yeah, let's take it, you know? Pretty good, right? There's no way that thing's gonna wake up. So, the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> Then I use my cleverness to hide. Hide, hide very quickly. Hide very, very quickly. They also did a really good job with that dragon. Um, to be completely honest, I've actually been disappointed with a lot of dragons of late. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. <laughs> I must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Um, I feel like a lot of the dragons I've been seeing lately are, at least in Dungeons and Dragons terms, are more wyverns than they are dragons. Uh, the dragon that lives in this cave, however, is an actual full-on dragon. He's got four limb or four. Uh, I guess arms, limbs, legs. Legs is probably a correct term. Whereas Wormans I tried is... to turn that crazy control. Oh right, I have to use <laughs> someone tampered with it, creating some silly I'm just so used to games nowadays where they do everything what for me. To fix the broken switch? Empty space, that's what I used. There we go, okay. Um Let's see, the dragon hears the bell and he wakes up, but a bridge falling and rocks falling, dragon doesn't do anything. Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Oh yeah, he's got a, uh, he's got a collar now. So yeah, someone is definitely trying to train him. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Okay. Well, that's no good. Let's see. Let's progress a little bit more. Shimmy against the wall. Very quickly and quietly. Just a little bit more. Poor guy. And we're just gonna kinda sneak our way out. After he here. briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. I would sleep all day anyway, but I have to work. Oh, I'm gonna be bad at this. I'm gonna be really bad at this. That looks like a person. Yeah. I think I'm a. Yeah. Okay. Let's, um. Let's actually go ahead and stop it here. Um, I'm gonna make these episodes a bit shorter because there seems to always be pretty good stopping points from what I've seen. Um, so when we get back to this. I will attempt to not die. There is no guarantee. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. It it feels good to be doing this again. I really need to get back to doing this for everyone, not just for me, but mostly for you guys. So thank you, and have a wonderful day.